Okay, let's make a deterministic finite automaton for this language, which is the set of all binary strings w, such that w contains an even number of zeros or exactly two ones, or both it could have. So as an example, if it has one one right there, that has exactly two zeros, and so therefore is accepted because it doesn't matter what the rest of the condition is. If we have the string 0, 0 that has an even number of zeros, and so it doesn't matter what the number of ones is. In fact, it could have exactly 1, 1, that's okay, because it's an or in between the two conditions. So how are we going to build a DFA for this? Let's use the product construction, where we're gonna build a DFA for this first part, and then independently make a DFA for this, and then use the product construction for the union of the two. Let's do the exactly two ones first. So that's going to be, I need to read a one and then read another one. And at that point we need to accept. But if we read anything else, any other ones I mean, we should not accept. And so I'm gonna to go to a dead state right here. And if we read anything else, if we read a zero in any of these, that doesn't change the number of ones. And so we're going to stay in the same state no matter what. So all these stay in the same state. And then down this column, I'm going to make a tiny DFA for an even number of zeros. And that's just going to involve two states. So in the state at the beginning, is going to be final because that's an even number of zeros so far, namely zero. And if we read a zero, that's going to change parity. So I'm going to go to an odd state. And then if we read another zero, I'm going to go back to even again. And if we read a one in either case, it doesn't change the number of zeros. And so therefore they're going to stay in whatever parity they were before. Now let's use the product construction where I'm going to make eight states four times two. And so I'm going to have eight states right here, five, six, seven, eight, who do we appreciate? And the start state's going to be the start of both, which is this guy right here. And the final states are going to be the ones where it's this entire row, as well as this entire column, because we got an or here. As long as either one of the originals is an accepting, I'm going to make that accepting too. So I'm going to have four states accepting here. And this entire column is also going to be accepted. So five in total in this case. Okay, so now we got to add the transitions. Well, the zero in this guy stays within the column because it doesn't move along the columns. And the zeros over here change the rows. So the zeros are just going to oscillate between the rows in here. So up and down, down and up, down and up. The ones are only going to move across the columns, and then the last one, it stays there. And then the ones stay within the row. So the one is going to move across, 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 stay over here. The one down here is going to do exactly the same. Across, 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 stay there. So actually, something that's kind of interesting is that there's no dead states here, mainly because if we're over here, that means we have read at least three ones, but then we can fix that by changing the number of zeros, and we can always change the number of zeros to become even again. And so therefore, this is a deterministic finite automaton for the language of all binary strings that contain an even number of zeros or exactly two ones.